Hey everybody, it's Wesley Tomsky, and I'm here to talk about uh, the new software that is available from Update. No, I do not want to update iTunes. Uh, the new game, Playing History 2, The Slave Trade, and it's gotten everybody in a rut because there's of this one mini game. It's an incredibly small part of the actual game where you stack slaves in a ship like Tetris. I personally think that's kind of hilarious. And everybody's like, oh, defensive, da, 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 racism. And in response, the developers pulled the game from Steam, and that's really stupid. I don't care what you think, it's called free speech. This game has every right to exist. The game is aimed at kids. If you look, there's like a lot of like super like background readings and like educational value and all that, and it's supposed to inform kids about the slave trade. And this gameplay itself is actually, I'm, I, like I said, I didn't buy the game. This is pulled straight from Jimquisition's channel. I'm not sure how illegal that is, but there. Now, as long as I'm not trying to pass it off as my own, I think it's okay. But I don't care how offensive you think it might be. It's called free speech. Bottom line, period. Ultimate trump card when it comes to video games. And if for some reason you find this offensive, well, then just don't buy your stupid spineless fool who needs to grow a skin. I think it's funny that everybody's talking about this game and not the much creepier game, Shower With Your Dad.